Whether it's waking up earlier or getting a later start, these time changes can significantly impact our daily routines and most importantly, our sleep patterns. I sat down with Molly Penny, a premier certified pediatric sleep consultant to understand the importance of getting a good night's rest. Well, Molly, thanks for talking to us about this topic. So let's just get right into it. First, why is sleep so crucial for children and teenagers, especially during the school year? Yes, sleep is so important for kids of all ages. I mean, when they sleep at night, that's the time for them to kind of recharge and retain all the information they learn during the day. It also boosts their immune system, boosts creativity, all of which are very important. And I think one thing that people overlook is we know that like babies need a lot of sleep. Everybody knows these babies need to sleep all day and take all these naps, but we kind of lose track of that once we get to school age kids. Mm -hmm. And all the way up to teenagers, kids still need a ton of sleep. Like I have some figures here. A kindergartner needs 10 to 13 hours of sleep in a 24 hour period. Seven to 13 year old needs nine to 11 hours of sleep and teens still need a little over nine hours. So it's important that they have that time to recharge and retain all the information they learn during the day so they can take on the next school day at their best. What are some common signs that a child or a teenager is not getting enough sleep? You know, I think you can see things like maybe they're not performing in school as well as they should. They don't want to get out of bed in the morning. You know, they're dragging their feet. They're a little extra irritable, maybe at breakfast time. That's when we can reassess like, okay, how much sleep does my child need per their age? Are they getting enough sleep? Are they going to bed early enough? And kind of make sure that you're on track. So, you know, Molly, with the new start times for this year, specifically with Anchorage School District, what are some practical tips for families to help them adjust their kiddos and their teens yes. to go to sleep and to get up, whether it's an hour earlier or they're getting able to sleep in a little bit later? Yeah, I think you need to look at how much sleep does my child need per day and then kind of back into your schedule. So if your child needs 10 hours of sleep a day and you need to be out of the house at seven, you need to make sure that they're getting into bed early enough at night, which can be really early compared to what we're doing during the summer. Let them know it's okay if this is gonna take a little while for them to get used to it. It's not a make or break thing, you know, there's gonna be grumpy days and not holding that against them or anything like that. And a month from now, you know, they'll all be feeling a lot better and a lot more in the schedule. Be smooth sailing. It'll be smooth sailing. <laughs> we just got to get through this transition. Well, some great tips there, Molly. Thank you so much for chatting with yes. us about that. So Thank you for having me.